Jake here for American Trucks, and today I'm taking a look at the Switchback Sequential Projector Headlights with matte black housings and clear lenses, fitting 2009 to 2018 Ram 1500s equipped with the factory halogen headlights. These lights are a great way for Ram owners who are tired of those factory halogens or just in need of some replacements to get some seriously improved lighting output and cool looks for an affordable price. Whether the headlights on your Ram are looking a little worse for wear, or if you're just tired of the low output of your factory halogens, these are gonna be a big improvement in your Ram's looks and lighting performance. Though they might appear similar to the newer headlights that you can get on Rams, they certainly make a big difference in the front end of your truck. The matte black internal housings here make for a cool, stealthy appearance, something a little bit more aggressive than stock. But there's more to these than just the visuals. Now inside, obviously, you get these two large projectors. These are gonna serve as your main and high beams. The outer one's the low beam, inner one jumps in for your high beam. Now projectors are great because they provide a vastly improved light beam while still utilizing a standard type of bulb. So replacements are easy to get and are also very budget friendly. The light itself is clean and bright. These cast much further up the road compared to standard halogens and they're a little bit more clear and have a nicer cutoff than standard halogens as well. So these are gonna make driving at night much easier and much safer, making you easier to see and making it easier for you to see. Now outside of that, you also get these cool LED strips on the top and bottom of the house. Now these are going to function as your daytime running lights and also your turn signals. And your turn signals here are sequential. They're going to light up the requisite amber, but there's one more trick. You can make fun of my age here, but if you were a fan of the show Knight Rider, you're going to like the breathing effect that these do when you start the truck as well. Because they can't help but think of Kit from Knight Rider. It's a cool thing to see these kind of sweep back and forth in that white light, and it sets these apart from other options out there. Now, once your turn signals are off and the startup sequence is complete, these are gonna function as your running lights, your daytime running lights. They're gonna be this nice bright white. So the same thing that you see in that startup sequence, it's just gonna be illuminated all the way through. Now, these are also DOT and SAE compliant, making them fully street legal, and that means they've got some adjusters in the back here. So you get a cool style, greatly improved lighting output, and a decent price and something that's gonna be street legal as well. Now construction here is your standard polypropylene for the outer plastic housings, and you've got the UV coated polycarbonate for the lenses. Now everything is sealed up against dirt and water, so they should look good and last a while too. It's gonna to protect those electronics inside. Now of course, your lighting functions are taken care of by H7 bulbs, so even if you do have to replace them, go out to an auto parts store, you should be able to pick up exactly what you need without an issue. And the strips that we were talking about earlier, those are LEDs, so you don't have to worry about replacing them either. Should make for a pretty simple, pretty worry-free setup for you in the long run. Coming in at about $575, these are on the more affordable side when it comes to upgraded lighting setups for this generation of RAM. Now that's not to say that $575 is not a drop in the bucket, it is quite a bit of money, but if you want that improved lighting and the lifespan in a quality setup, this is gonna be a great answer for you. Now you could also get some improved lighting by slapping some nicer bulbs in your factory housings, but these are gonna take it to the next level and it's gonna step up that lighting output a little bit more, plus you get that cool style. So it's gonna definitely make up for the cost savings by going the route of just changing out the bulbs. And these are gonna be easy for you to run in the long term too. Between the LEDs and the regular H7 bulbs inside, it's gonna be very easy to keep these going and make them look nice for a long time. Installation is gonna come in at a one out of three on our difficulty mirror and should take you about an hour to complete the job. Now these are pretty much plug and play. So you're gonna plug in your connector, plug this one into your bulb socket, and then these are gonna bolt right up to your factory mounting locations. So this is a pretty simple thing for you to accomplish at home. And to show you exactly what you need to do, stick with us right now. We're gonna head out to the shop and walk you through the process. The tools you'll need for this project are a ratchet, a 10 millimeter socket, and a trim removal tool. Hi everyone. Today we're installing a set of headlights on our RAM, so let's get started with the uninstall of the stock headlights first. All right, first thing we need to do is remove this radiator cover here, and to do that we're going to have to remove these six push pins that hold it down. And for that we're going to use our trim removal tool and just get underneath and lift it up and then we can pop them out. And once you've got your push pins removed, just go ahead and lift your cover up and get it out of the way. Our next step is going to be to remove these four 10 millimeter bolts 
that attach the grill to the core support. So let's go ahead and take those out. Now we can just lift up on the grill a little bit and pull it straight out. Now we'll remove these two 10 millimeter bolts here at the bottom and one at the top of our headlight. Then we can go ahead and remove that. Now you just grab a hold of your headlight, slide it forward, <clears throat> and then we can go ahead and disconnect our connectors from the headlight. To do that, we're going to lift up on this red locking tab here, and then push down on the release lever, and pull it out. And now you can repeat that process for the other side. Before we install our new light, we need to transfer over our parking light socket to our new light. To do that, you're just gonna grab the parking light bulb itself in the lower corner here on the back of the headlight, twist it counterclockwise, and pull it out. Once you pull it out, you're gonna gently grab the sides of the bulb and wiggle it until it comes out. Now, once you've got that out, you're gonna go ahead and plug in the harness for, on the back of the new light into where the light bulb went on the old light. Once you've got that done, go ahead and feed it into the new housing. And then just push it in and turn it clockwise until it locks. Now we can go ahead and get this installed on our truck. Now we'll go ahead and plug in our harness to the back of our light. Push it in until it locks. And don't forget to push down on the red locking tab just to make sure that the socket does not come out. Now we go ahead and put it back into the original location. and secure it with our original hardware. Now we'll go ahead and tighten them down using our 10 millimeter socket. And now you can repeat that whole process for the other side. Now we'll go ahead and reinstall our grill. And secure it with the original hardware. And now we'll tighten those down with our 10 millimeter socket. Now we'll reinstall our radiator cover and secure it with the original push pins. And that wraps up our review and install of the Switchback Sequential Projector Headlights with the matte black housing and clear lens for the 09-18 Ram 1500 with factory halogen headlights. Thanks for watching and remember, for all things Ram, keep it right here at AmericanTrucks.com.